What up, guys? We are live from the Bro Jewel for another episode of the Rochambeau Bros News. I am your host, Kia Not Keith. I am, I guess, head creative director of everything and producer. Da 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 da. Your countdown sucks. My cough and penis did not get in. My cough and saying. Okay. <laughs> Your coughing oh my penis. My coughing penis. Damn, dude. So that's our new show. I it's think called, you need to take that's that to the doctor. That's our new YouTube Red show called Coughing Penis. You should watch it. It premieres in October. I said YouTube cough Red and show. penis. It's a YouTube Red show. But about I also talking coughing penis. penis. Yeah. That'd be a pretty weird show. Yeah, yeah, it would be, yeah. Let's get it greenlit by Netflix. It'd just be a giant pixel. Well, no, see, it would be like a hot dog, though. So we'd have a hot dog and, like, two grapes. Oh, my God. Oh, no, it could just be, like, at the end of the bun just got really messed up. Yeah. Smushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's basically weird. a sausage party, then. Who yeah. else am I here with? Uh, Janitor Zach. I sweep and mop after these guys leave. You don't even live here. <laughs> exactly. And I get paid two cents an hour. You don't even get paid. Exactly. I don't even get paid. It sucks being a janitor, guys. But the reward <coughs> is worth it when you see the clean floor. This floor is carpet. I know. It you takes can't me, mop. That's why it takes me hours. Why not just buy a rug doctor? Too Take easy. Take care of it. Too easy. Our funding has been cut, too, so. Has our funding been cut? No, what the fuck? You I've just it. been given a broom. And then I have to soak that broom to also mop, so it's really weird. Okay, who the fuck is <laughs> Jay's here. Okay, the guy who questions whether Jay is here. He's here, yeah, you can hear him. But can the audience It could have been a him? random person. Shut the fuck up, Zach. But can the audience hear him? Probably. <laughs> Alright, so what have you guys been up to? Skill. Work. 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 Just that Rihanna song, Work. No, no, we are not going there, work, no. Work, 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 work. I'm disappointed in you. I like that song for Drake. I am. And you know I like Drake. I know, I, I can't be mad at so you that for that, but I'm disappoint still disappointed you. in you. Man, it can't, it comes on the radio often, so that's how I finally <clears throat> was just like, okay, now I'm listening to it. Let's hear what Drake says. And I was like, that's pretty good. I like that, so... No, like yeah, this. Drake sounds pretty good when people write for him. Mm -hmm. Ooh, burn on Drake. I mean, burn on most of the music industry. How many people actually write their own stuff anymore? Most rappers. Eminem. Yeah. Okay, take Kendrick out the Lamar. rap community and how many people write their own stuff? The Weeknd. That's not a rap. Give, so he's an R&B singer. Yeah, I'll give you that. Justin Timberlake, probably. Yeah. Post Malone. Nobody consider, cares no, about Post Malone. I'm lying. I don't consider, Joey Badass Ghost wrote... Rock star, so therefore Post Malone did not write his own thing. I was totally kidding, dude. Chill the fuck out, <laughs> God. Hold your music dick in your hand and just chill. What you, about you, Zach? The fuck have you been up to? So you're sad. also just sweeping and mopping. Okay, take him and his reaction to his burrito. That type of feeling, and I'm applying that to you because you seem also pretty angry. Who hurt you? Also, one of the reasons why is just I'm not really. I'm still home. It's because I'm still pretty good from lunch. Okay. Made myself a good ass. Pizza. You haven't done anything interesting at work. You never like really watched anything. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where the fuck were you uh, yesterday? I mean, where was? We're I? supposed to watch Predator last night. Why didn't you say anything? Well, I did. It's said Thursday. We talked about it. We were talking about Predator. Yeah, we were talking about it for the past two fucking weeks. My bad, dude. No, it's fine. It's fine you, you didn't go to Predator. Uh, I went straight home after work. He was tired. My That's bad, okay, bro. fine. No. I mean, I didn't show up. You're <laughs> yeah, not judging me. You're at, you had to work. So did he. This is a no judgment zone, Keith. I'm not judging anyone. Not Out I loud. The, I went to the fucking fair. <laughs> it was a good time. Oh, you went to the fair. Yeah, no. Do I, tell. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Do, please do tell. You told us all about it already. No, seriously, do tell. I was... It's super, it's way different, comparatively. <clears throat> I haven't been to the fair forever, so... It's, it's it's also different when you have a child and you take them. Because uh, they have fun, apparently, at the fair. As an old curmudgeon adult does not have fun. That's because you have to pay for everything Well, yourself. no, 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 no. Like, if I, went, if I went by myself, I would not be having fun. No one has fun doing anything I would just be an old curmudgeon being like, Brr, fair. False. One person I work with loves going to the fair. They have fun there. 
And they are an adult, 62 years old. Yeah, because they don't have anything in life that they're, like, going to be expecting anymore. Wow. Once you reach 62, like... He's always been excited about the fair since he was our age. Yeah, that's because he has nothing else to, like, he's 62, Zach. Wow. I'm just going to discount that I just said since our age he's Yeah, because he's also a fossil, <laughs> and that's all they could do back then, because their jalopies only went 10 miles per hour. You are... I'm just being a douche about this person now. Like, <laughs> yes, you, are. you are also... You are seven layers of salt right yeah, now. Yeah, no, like, I just... The like, red ocean cannot compare to you. The fair, the fair is actually, red like... Sea. It's, it's again, weird when you, have a, when you have a child, and they go, and you can, like, talk about how fun they... How much fun... You can see how much fun they're having, and, like... Remember the time before you well, died. Well, no, it's like... Okay, so we... My mom bought her a week pass, and... I was like, oh, God, I'm, like, she's in that mid-age where she's, like, 10, and I'm like, maybe she won't like the fair as much as, like, we're expecting her to like the fair, and she was, like, doing rides all day. I was like, oh, this is fucking great. Like, I was like, Mom, how much did you spend on that? She's like, $54. I'm like, I think she spent more than $54 worth of rides, so I think, I think we got it, got a good time. <coughs> we, we did, we, and yeah, that was just day one. Day one, yeah, we did the, like, <coughs> Sunday, day one, from seven till it closed, and good God, just so much rides, and it was like super light aesthetic. And did she make you go on any? No, I went on the Ferris. We went on. We all went on the Ferris wheel, but it was. I don't like rides, but uh, I went there for the food, and I ate a shit ton. They have new foods, but they got rid of some of the old foods. It was kind of sad. Like they no what? longer have fair Chinese. How? Yeah, I was fair like, Chinese. I was looking because it's always usually by the U.S. Cellular Building. But there's no fair Tom Chinese Tom donuts still there. Yeah, but those are oh, subpar compared to. Have you had the spud nuts though? Dude, I haven't been there for three years. Dude, the spud nuts are delicious. Like these huge ass donuts for five dollars. They like totally kick Tom Thumb donuts' ass. You like those nuts, don't you? I, no, it's not even a donut. It's like just a, just like a dough bread sugar bun. So it's a donut. <laughs> no, there's no <laughs> hole in it, Zach. It's just a sugar bun. That's still a donut. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Donuts have a hole in it. No, they don't. Still not all of them. No, no, no. Filled. Technically, no. Those are donuts, technically, though. What are they, then? <laughs> They're jelly-filled donuts. No. What are they called, then? Nope, not scientifically. No. But, like, <laughs> they have, like, well, the, they had deep-fried apple pie. Like, I did not try half of the shit that they had. Because I stuck with corn dogs and turkey legs. Hey, the turkey legs are pretty good, though. The turkey legs are pretty good, but you have to go to the certain one, because, like, one per, one of their stands have them for $12, and then everyone else has them for 9 And the reason they do that is because everyone else runs out of what they do for that entire day fast, so you have to go get the $12 one. That's what happened to me Sunday. We went to go get them, and they're like, what do you want? I was like, a turkey leg? Well, we're all out of those. I'm like, Fuck! I saw another guy, like, can I have a turkey leg? He's like, $12. I'm like, what? I thought they were like, nine. And they like, fuck, fine. I want one. <laughs> so, yeah. It's I all mean, about how much you're willing to shop. And the carnies aren't, like, inbred anymore. Okay, that was Dude. a you supposition. Dude. That was your basis. Dude. What the heck is wrong with you? We would like to be excluded from that narrative. You You cannot remember back in the day you went to the fair and the carnies were just... The creepiest things in the world? No. Because yes. I never went to the fair. Joke's on you, bitch. Didn't you go with Brady one time? That was, that's when I was a fully grown adult. Oh. You never went to the fair as a kid? I thought once. That when I was like eight. Why? For all of you... two hours. Seriously? Why didn't for you? For all of two hours. <laughs> all of two hours. I think I went. To... Didn't ride a ride. I think I went to the Did fair you you with your sister and a group of other people. Probably. In high school? If I, I can't remember because I think I was dating someone from Harley at that time. But like, yeah, no, I wanted a group with them. You've never been to the, like, really? Two hours. Why? Probably. Like, but why, why? I mean, Zach had to be because he worked with, like, cattle and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, how come, like, did, was the, did your mom just was like, no, Gail, no fair? Basically, we gen she generally said we don't have the money for that. Oh, I'm just like, eh, screw it. Okay, now that makes sense. It's understandable, because that place is expensive. Depending on what you get. 
Even the food, just the food itself. No, the food, expensive. like, you gotta go to, like, the right ones, Zach. Right you can ones. find games there, too, though. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, like, the thing I say then, like, Connie's, <laughs> I don't trust Connie's with my money, but now they have ticket machines where you put the money in, and it's a dollar a ticket, and then you just give them the tickets to do the rigged games. Oh. Because people were, people kept, like, Carnies kept, like, pocketing some of that money for themselves. That yeah. doesn't surprise me. So, it was, it was really cool, like, it was really fun. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really weird to go out with all my friends that have kids and not feel weird anymore. Because <laughs> you had a kid with you? Well, because so. I'm not, like, just there because they asked me. I'm like, oh, yeah, you guys knocked up someone about this age, let's do it. I mean, you don't have to say yes to... No, I don't mind it. No, it's super... <laughs> it was super fun. It was it was enjoyable. Um, yeah, they had a lot more rides, too. That's the thing that, like, shocked me. Don't they still have that one ride that killed someone somewhere, somewhere else? No, they don't have the double Ferris wheel anymore. Oh. They took that out. Probably a good thing. Yeah. They, did you ever watch that video? Oh, they do have the zipper still, yeah, where, like, the fucking <coughs> thing got loose and it yeah, flew off. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Fuck that shit ride. That ride's terrible. I never want to do that ride ever again. I did that ride once. The Ring of Fire is great, though. I did that ride once when I was 10, and I got whiplash, and I had to go to the chiropractor <laughs> three times. And I, like, never wanted to ride it again, because that's also my distrust for Carnies. That's what happened. He's like, it'll be fine, don't worry. Just clench up. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Lies. I mean, I'm pretty sure that works in some scenario. Oh yeah, and I watched the Bleach live action movie. Um, I was watching everything that came out new on Netflix last night because I didn't get to go see Predator. I watched the new uh, Dragon Prince by the Avatar creators. Oh, that finally came out? Yeah, it's very interesting. It's different. Uh, the first episode was like subpar. It wasn't like bad, but it wasn't like amazing. Want to watch it? Keep watch through it. Uh, actually... Don't know why I was entranced with Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Flex Force or whatever. They need Flex Seal. Oh my gosh, it was such a it's such a weird show, but it's so like weirdly interesting. Just say you like it. I don't like it. I watched one episode. I don't like it. I can understand why kids like it. I don't like it. But that Bleach live action movie, though, I highly, I highly recommend that movie. Like, if you are a Bleach fan, because you won't be, you won't be upset. Now you just have to wait a little bit longer, and then you'll get Death Note two to go with that. I don't. You mean the Netflix <laughs> yes, movie? Yes. Net, I feel like that is such a <laughs> just. Every time I see that fucking goddamn <clears throat> Light Turner. No, it's just like, every time people are like, yeah, guys, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make another movie, because everyone... And it's because everyone clicked on Netflix. Like, it, there's no other reason why. Because people wanted to know how bad it would suck, and it sucks so bad. That's the main reason we watched it. <laughs> yes, it was. And I haven't watched it since. Did you get Brady to watch it? No. Oh. I could have swore he watched it. Nope. Hmm. No, John watched it, because we talked about it pre oh, okay. our first ever Skype call because John was talking to me about how he doesn't understand why everyone attacked me on my on my Twitter and Facebook about why I did not like Death Note. And everyone's like, man, Death Note was awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. The writing was good. Willem Dafoe was good. I'm like, yeah, you'd be good too if all you have to do is be in a VO booth doing <laughs> <coughs> Like there's not, it's not really that hard to just be a voice of a character that doesn't do much anyways. To be fair, though, Willem Dafoe. Pretty great actor, if I may say so myself. He did do a very good Green Goblin. Yeah, because he chews up the fucking scenery. Like He's the only Green Goblin people really remember. There was only... <laughs> there was only <laughs> fucking two, Zach. You get fucking Dane DeHaan Green Goblin... He's the one who kills Gwen. Spoiler alert! Gwen Stacy in Amazing Spider-Man too. Uh, there's also the animated series ones. If you want to count those. No, we're counting the movie ones. Because if that's so, like I think everyone actually likes the Hobgoblin more. 
from Spider-Man the Animated Series. I thought everyone did like the Hobgoblin more. Mm-hmm. Do they? Don't Generally, know. everybody goes ham for the Green Goblin. Really? Yeah. Oh no, I was, I was, I was pretty stoked for the Red Goblin when Green Goblin took over this Carnage symbiote. That was pretty dope. That's what dope. about Harry Osborn's new Goblin from Spider-Man Three? Oh yeah, that's also on Netflix. <laughs> that's still just. It's not super bad. It. It's just not super good. Like I don't think either. Like. I don't think the Sam Raimi movies hold up as well the older I get and I watch them. Like, I think Spider-Man 2 is not as good as everyone else thinks it is. I think, like, everyone just, like, when we were kids, just said how awesome Spider-Man 2 was, and they just forever think that. I think Spider-Man 3 was, like, much more bold for what the shit they did. It was dumb, but it was, like, more of a comic book movie than all of them. Because that is some shit some writer in a comic book would do is when, like, Peter Parker was evil. They would have probably written a panel with him snapping his fingers, walking around like an idiot, so. Either like, that or woman beating. Well, no, see, that's the thing about, like... Depends Spider-Man, on the writer. Spider-Man well, technically, 3, he did in the movie. Spider-Man 3 is more cartoony, and that's what I actually liked about that, comparatively to, like, Spider-Man 2. I like the Venom suit in Spider-Man 3. God, fuck you, Zach. Like the actual Venom suit or Spider-Man with the, the suit? actual Venom suit? I wanted some clarification. Like when it's on Topher Grace, it doesn't look that bad to yeah. me. I don't know about that. It just looks it looks weird. It's just weird to see Topher Grace be Venom. Then we just let's talk about Captive State. Yeah! It looks like aliens have taken over the U.S. Yeah, aliens. but it, it has Machine Gun Kelly... That's who that was? Yeah. And John Goodman. They could have used better music. And Vera Farmiga. No, like Machine Gun Kelly's in the movie. They could have used better music. <laughs> I mean, it's a science fiction riot movie. It's weird. Yeah. They so basically it's... take care of crime, poverty, Ouch. homelessness. But aliens are enslaving everybody in the U.S. I think it's such a bizarre movie that, like... By the way, do you think those aliens go to every football game? Or that was just, like, a major football game? I think it was a major football game. I was gonna say, because it'd probably be pretty annoying. Especially, like, if they have to go at, like, three different high schools at one night. Turns yeah. out the aliens are just big fans of football. Mmm. Yeah, no. That's, I don't know, it's super weird. This is a weird, like, I don't know. It has the voice of Sully. Mm-hmm. You mean Tom Hanks? That is not Tom Hanks. No, voice of Sully from Monsters, Inc. Oh. Not Sullivan. Oh, okay. Sully. <laughs> My that, is, that is Tom Hanks. <laughs> I just can't I think of I don't know. Who is that? Get Vera Farmiga doing some weird <laughs> shit like usual. Like, she's in the new Jurassic, uh, not Jurassic, but Godzilla movie, and I just, I don't know. Yeah, we'll Jurassic go Gundam. Yeah. Then we go to Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and the fuck, man. I don't get why they're trying to reimagine everything as a super, super edgy show. <laughs> yeah, the fuck. Everything, everything must be edgy. No, first it fucking, was, the Riverdale. The first fucking part. Like I don't mind. Like Riverdale is weirdly good, dumb. <clears throat> I haven't seen it, so I'm speaking about this objectively. Right. It's like everything that was hammy and funny in the like. What, early 90s? Mid? Somewhere? Well, just, it was originally hammy and colorful and childish and comedic. They have to turn into, into something super duper edgy. What's yeah. the deal with that? I don't know. It's just, for me, when I think <laughs> about it, I just, like, I don't know. It just, it opened weird already, and it's just kind of like, it made me actually watch the original Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And I was like, this is fun and just goofy. And, like, seeing this again is just like, join our cult. And there's, like, a weird deer jackalope man just sitting there. And he's like, join our cult. I'm like, what the fuck? Really? Why? I'm... I don't know. I think it was a goat head. Is it? I don't know. Usually pagans and Satanism involve goat heads. Yeah. Which is a thing. Probably. I just... I don't know. I just... 
just weirds me out, man. Like, I like not in a bad way. Like, I'm going to give it a try. Like, I gave Riverdale a try. Like, uh, no. I like Archie comics, and, like, I don't really give a shit about the River. Like, the one thing that kind of makes me mad is that, like, Riverdale made Jughead asexual. Like, not in Riverdale. The Archie comics made Jughead asexual. Like, he's not attracted to anyone. And then here he's dating Betty and Archie's dating Veronica, where I still kind of wish there was that weird love triangle between Archie, Betty, and Veronica, but there isn't. So Jughead is dating Betty, and Archie's solidly finally dating Veronica, and it was always ambiguous whether or not Archie wanted to date either, or if Archie was gay. Alright. Read the context of the Riverdale, uh, of Archie comics, man. They're intense. It's just, I don't know, like... Now Jughead's part of a motorcycle gang and shit, and, like, it's fucking weird. He doesn't have a crown, it's just a hat. He's got a crown, it's, it's, it's crowned up, it's a beanie with, like, the Jughead. You, you do know what those hats were, right? They were felt caps. They weren't, it was not never a legit crown, it was like a felt cap from, like, the 50s. My whole life is a lie. Yeah, it was never a crown. <laughs> My whole life is a 1950s felt cap. It, they took Trelby's. <laughs> And cut the tips off of them and flipped it up. So sorry, Gil. My whole life is a lie. <laughs> How will you go on? Miniature, what the fuck? No, well, he's down. Kidding. Uh, it just makes me think of something like American Horror Story. Good and, fucking God, fuck that series. And not even like the good, not even the good stuff. Just was there any really good stuff? I thought it was a lot all of people like the second schlock. one. That's. But I thought it was all schlock. Like, it's like horror schlock, though. It's just like... The thing about American Horror Story is that they just throw random shit at a dartboard, and it's like, aliens, zombies, monsters, this will be the plot to our next series. I mean, it's a horror anthology series. They then, generally try to follow a theme. And then Each season... Each, sorry, go on. No, I'm sorry. I was just going to make a side comment. <laughs> go ahead. No, go watch your side comment. Please no, tell us. No, 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 no. I was just going to say, and then there's Neil Patrick Harris in the circus one. The yeah. circus part of it. Yeah, he was a murderer. And then he was killed. But yeah, no, it's just like, I just don't understand. Like, <clears throat> then we go to The Gifted season two, and this is actually like, that first season of The Gifted isn't bad, but it's not good. And with Disney taking over the X-Men stuff, I don't know what they're going to do with it. So. Uh... That joke at the end, just... The placement of that while they're having the music score swell up for something dramatic, and then it's just a joke about sex. Yeah. And not even a good one. Yeah. Like, what the hell? That's what yeah. that's legitimately left what it left me doing and thinking. What the hell? With yeah. my hands raised up. I was gonna say, did you actually do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I get you. It, it just doesn't... I don't even remember hearing about the first season, so this just doesn't even look good. And now that he's here thinking about it again, his hands are up. Yes, it's... Why? Like, why? Every... You know what really turns me on? Finishing the dishes. Okay. <laughs> uh, like, I don't... Like, I don't know. I just... I don't know. I don't think it looks good. But, like, again, for some reason, I just watch schlock sometimes, and that's what I do. I... Yeah, go gifted. Then we get the She-Ra, the Princess of Power. And this actually doesn't look that bad. It actually looks kind of interesting. It's a little teaser of what you get, but... I have high hopes, because, like, a lot of these Netflix reboots of, like, Voltron and shit have been killing it. So I kind of hope this is good. This personally doesn't look interesting to me. I mean... Right, no, that's understandable, because we're grown men. And we should not be watching She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. I mean, it's for anyone that'll watch it. And technically, most things have a general audience, but there are people more specific. But I feel like ones. this is more specifically aims toward it's females. It's, it's a magical. It's essentially a magical girl show. And they do turned, you know how many dudes watch those? They turned she a lot. They turned, yeah, Dude, did you fucking, Sailor Moon. Did you fucking yeah, hear? <laughs> did you fucking hear the outrage of the she Rock new cartoon? She has pants. She's oh, not dude. hot enough. Well, she has shorts. That's fucking weird. Like, when grown men's like, I'm not watching this show because she rises and hot enough. I'm like, she's a fucking 16 year old girl in this, you weirdos. Yeah, the internet's weird. I don't. I mean, 
You make that sound like it's something new or just come to light. I don't know. The internet has always been weird. Maybe she Ra's going to be the next My Little Pony. <laughs> so all I'm saying is don't go to DeviantArt and search she Ra. You're just, you're just throwing more gas on that fire. Yes. Yeah, everything in DeviantArt ruins everything. I just tried to look for like an artist who would do sprites for like what the facts of movie reviews <coughs> and like I just searched like link sprites and they're like Zelda with titties I'm like I just really need to find like an artist to do this fucking A <laughs> did you, you the take them back, up Ian. on the Zelda with titties no that, that is your failure Time no to start he drew yourself, like yourself, the first portrait <laughs> like the first thing was like no sprites of Zelda or Link it was just Half naked Zelda and she holding each other, which makes no sense because they're the same person. That brings a new meaning to touching yourself. Yeah, fuck. Then we go to the Ballad of Buster Scruggs, and I really thought this was a good <clears throat> idea of a western. I kind of want to actually see it. It's very, it's very, very interesting. Yeah. I like how they contrast. Everything else looks dark and dreary, and then he's the he's just plain everything white. Looking clean and spiffy, but he'll still murder you. Then we go to Beach Bum, and this actually looks kind of interesting. Owen Wilson being... That's not Owen Wilson. It looks Is that like Luke Owen Wilson? Wilson. No, that's Matthew McConaughey. Oh. It looks all like right, Owen. All right, Matthew all right. McConaughey looking and sounding like Owen Wilson. Also, I was 70% sure that I left the, the, the door locked on the Lincoln. Shut Jeopardy the skit from uh, SNL. Yeah. When Jim Carrey <clears throat> impersonates him. Oh, Jim Carrey. Did you record a voiceover just for this? Yes, I did. <laughs> Snoop Dogg's in it. Yeah. Yeah. And he's smoking a bowl with Matthew McConaughey. I kind of wish that was Owen Wilson. That would have <laughs> made Wilson it infinite. a cameo. That would have been infinite. Yeah, that's Matthew McConaughey and what? I don't, I don't know why. It might have just been the blonde hair and my expectation to see Owen Wilson in something, but I thought, I thought Matthew, it was Owen Wilson. I thought Matthew McConaughey had brown hair, though. He does. Yeah, he has blonde hair. He's got a dirty blonde. I'm not getting into the fucking semantics of this, but yeah. I've just always No, this one was, he was just straight blonde, so. Yeah, yeah he has, like, he oh, has wait, blonde something. hair. I've like, just seen like him. a dirty blonde. Yeah, he's like a dirty blonde. I've only just seen him in weird Jonah Hill is apparently so. fucking in this movie, and so, so is Zac Efron. Yeah, Zach, you know what Zac Efron looked like? Who? Voss. From yeah. From Far Cry 3. Yeah, I'm like, did he, did he just get done trying to audition for Voss in some one's YouTube weird. garage video, Far Cry 3? You know what? It could actually be a good idea if they do that. Then we go to this, like, really, really sad... Hold up. That would be a good idea, and it would profit a lot, but not having Zac Efron as boss. I wouldn't mind having Zac Efron as boss. Too. Live action Far Cry. We do go into uh, Wildlife, which is kind of a really depressing-ass trailer. Yes. About childhood. Jake Jake Gyllenhaal's Hall? in it, and it's about like a child expressing the failure of their, his parents' wedding through his perspective. I'm like, that's fucking depressing. Did you read the description for that? Because that's not what I got out of it. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you more... get out of it? Well, it was their fa- the failure of their marriage. But the it's way in you... the child's perspective. Really? Yeah, it's supposed to be in the child's perspective. He's writing journal entries, apparently. Hmm. See, they didn't even show that in the trailer. You know what? Another movie that did journal... Like, another book and movie that did journal entries that's just so fucking depressing by the end of it? Flowers for Algernon. It's the kid who's like dying, and like he's thinking he, he's getting better, but as he's writing it, as he's writing, the medicine is wearing off and he's dying. So like each chapter, it's like worse and worse written until like the very end, like he's trying to finish his last sentence and it just doesn't go. It just ends in dot dot dot. I gotta read that book. It's fucking depressing. So it's not that the medicine is actually working, he's just It's dying working. It wor- it works for a bit. Ah. <clears throat> Flowers for Algernon. It's it's a it's a really depressing movie. So it's a mo- is it a movie or a book? It's both. 
Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's yeah. It's it's just depressing. Yay, depression. Because I need more of that. In my then life. we go into our movie news, and we hit off with the Marvel block like usual. Wait, we're already on the movie news. Yeah. All right. Because we got the DC block that's going to be way more interesting to talk about, so we're going to hit this Marvel shit fast. I feel like neither of them are that interesting Did anymore. Did you not hear about the, what happened with DC? Yeah, but I don't. they're not interesting anymore. It's just become more of a concurrent stream of, I don't care. <laughs> a concurrent stream of, like, what will happen next? Karen Gillan confirms she's returning for the reshoots, so are uh, Hawkeye and Scarlett Johansson and Gwyneth <clears throat> Paltrow and... Yeah, so reshoots for Avengers 4. It's going to be awesome. Nice. Uh, uh, the Venom movie projects to Venom. sell... PG-13, by the way. Yeah, I, know. I was fucking getting to... You decided to take that pause. I decided to inform Well, people. I didn't want to... Fu- I knew he was going to do this fucking stupid, like, Venom bullshit. And I'm just because like, you wouldn't stop that one day. Which means it's going to be a lot suckier than everyone wanted it to be. I don't think it was going to be a good movie ever. Anyways, like, everyone who told me, like, again, sorry, this is me being a nihilist, nihilist to castle, but I know how fucking movie companies work. And, like, the first thing people automatically said was, fuck Marvel for making it PG-13. I'm like, no. That's Sony. It's Sony because they have high hopes that, like, Marvel <laughs> will let them use Spider-Man, like Tom Holland's Spider-Man, in the Venom series sometime. Like, I mean, they could always pull shenanigans. There's the Spider-Verse. You could just say, this is an alternate reality. I don't think it's even going to be that good of a movie. I, like, the way it looked did not look good anyways. Smash like, box know. office records. <laughs> it I won't. hope not. I it know. won't. Yeah. I know. <clears throat> like, what are they projecting, though? They're projecting it to beat their other October releases that they've had in the past few years. Which were? Like, Gravity. The fucking movie where Sandra Bullock is in. It won a lot of awards. Oh, the one where she's floating in, in space, space yeah. for like an hour and 30 minutes. And then she comes crashing down. Yeah. Spoilers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you watch that movie? No, but I read the Wikipedia page. <laughs> That's generally what I do if a movie looks interesting, but not interesting enough for me to watch. That's what I did for Interstellar, and then I actually watched Interstellar. <laughs> well, Interstellar is a trip. Dude, I hate... Every other Christopher Nolan movie that isn't Dunkirk. Because I think they're so convoluted. Like, I hate Inception just because it's a movie that makes people think they're smart. Um... Like, <laughs> Jay's laughing at you. I legit hate Inception because it's people who think they make people think they're smart. It uses dream logic. What kind of idiot would make think that would make them smart? Because they like they're like, well, I can explain it better than you. I'm like, fuck you. It's dumb. Nobody likes it. Everybody likes it. Just nobody knows why. Yeah, I don't. There's a lot of shit people like that. Like, I don't think they actually know why they like it. Still never seen it. That's good. It's stupid. Disney launches a. Uh, the awards campaign for Black Panther, which includes a push for Best Picture at the Oscars. Why are they pushing so hard for Black Panther? I don't know. It was their... It's been actually one of their most successful movies in the past, since the MCU. It's an okay movie, but... Like, it's... Art, for artistic-wise and story-wise, it has the most Oscar-worthy worthy buzz. Like, I really think that, like, Michael B. Jordan should get a shot at Best Supporting Actor. I, I do. He has to refrain. No, no, no. I don't have to refrain. I just have differing views than him, and that is all right. But I don't think it is the greatest movie that ever... It's the great movie everyone's claiming it to be. It's a pretty solid movie. I don't think it's... It's better like, than Wonder Woman. I don't think it's, like, gonna win Best Picture at the Oscars. Fuck no. No. no I weird. think that it deserves to have, like, their Nominations. Support. Nomination for like supporting cast, like yeah. I really do think Michael B. Jordan should get his best supporting actor. The supporting cast in that was pretty strong, yeah. Like I don't think Chadwick Boseman would be like best male performance. I'm like no, like the supporting cast is what made Black Panther awesome. Like Chadwick Boseman was cool, but, like everyone around him was just better. I wouldn't say that. I feel like him... they all just helped each other out, right? No, I feel like and like 
Mumbaku is like still my favorite out of all of them. The guy who betrayed him? No. No, that's the dude with, that lives in like the mountains or something, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> He's just funny as fuck. He's like, we're vegetarian. Ha ah, ha Like, I don't know why. That was some kind of dark humor. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to eat you. Nah, man, we're, we're vegetarian. vegetarian. <laughs> It's just like, I really, I really, I can't, I really just enjoy that shit, and I think it's Where fun. do people lie on that whole vegetarian scale? Because some people still eat eggs, and they're vegetarian. That'd be a pescatarian. So, like, okay, so vegetarian means that you don't, okay, we're getting on a little side tangent here. Vegetarian, you can eat, um, well, but actually, yeah, vegetarian, you don't eat meat. So like, you can have milk and cheese still. Pescatarian means you eat eggs and fish. And then vegans just eat plant based. Well, vegans are just vegans, man. I don't know. I'm not getting into this. Yeah. <laughs> vegans do the vegan thing. Vegans do the. Vegans let me know how li- how much my life sucks compared to them because I'm not vegan. I had a friend in college that did that. Let's note that not all vegans are this. Yeah, way. no, I'm not. No, like. This is just a generalization. Yeah. But they really do like to tell you how good their life is. All right. My shit green. <clears throat> no, like, I don't know, but, yeah, that's, it's all based on just how much you regulate your food intake. But Anya <laughs> Taylor-Joy says, New Mutant reshoots are improving X-Men spinoff and turning it into the film we all signed up to do. So, with Disney buying out Fox, Fox is kind of like, fuck it, we're just going to turn this to a rated R horror movie. And I'm like, good. It's still not going to be good. It's going to be good, Gil. No, it's not. It's going to be good. It'll be better than what it probably was going to be, but it's still going to be bad. I What's your be bed for this movie again? I think we had one, did we? Isn't it another it, one that pertains you holding up a sign on Main Street saying such know. and such is better than New Mutants? Because like, I thought it was like if it's number one in the box office. I <sighs> mm, there wasn't... It was in a, in a combination of like box office numbers and the score. Yeah, like our personal score though. Our, yeah. But also had to do with the box office because that was like the final deciding factor. Yeah. We'll go back. We'll, we'll somebody will look through it. Yeah, Kate Blanchett says she's open to reprising a role as Hella and adds she might be willing to team up with Thanos, which would have made more sense because like Thanos in the comics was was all like death boner for. Like, had a boner for death. And, like, Hela's the goddess of death. And, like, they weren't ever going to make a female skeleton death. So, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, they could. With, I was going to say, they could have. Turning back around to the PG-13 Venom. Did you have any hopes? Like, you, you, like, everyone else we had on the podcast would, would always rave about how good those trailers look. How did you feel? I mean, they were all right. The like, first one was kind of ambiguous, and I like that, but then it started going down more. He's going to be an anti-hero. Well, see, that was my thing. The first one did it good because, like, they didn't show Venom. Until the end. No, they didn't no. show Venom at the end. They showed him... Just spouting the symbiote everywhere, but yeah. never actually just being Venom. Yeah. And that well, kind of ambiguity is what left that right. up in that the air. Right. was the trailer where at the end he goes, we are Venom? No. 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 Oh. That was... The second trailer came out <laughs> and that's the one where everyone was like photoshopping dildos in Venom's mouth because they're like... He had his what mouth so wide open. Yeah. Yeah. And like, no, they're like, that tongue looks like a dick. I guess. Yeah, people were saying, I don't fucking know why, but like, Twitter is weird, Zach. Don't go on Twitter. I don't have Twitter. He does not. Uh, someone told me, some girl that I work with, she's like, I know you do podcasts. I'm like, yeah. She's like, did you know that, like, Luigi's Mansion was, was, uh, fuck, what's the word for Twitter? Trending on Twitter? I'm like, I did, yeah. Yeah. But, like, no, she got, like, he, he, like, for me, when I think about that shit, I just, like, I didn't think it was gonna be, like, I don't get why everyone thought it was, like, it looks good. I'm like, it looks not good. I think Venom doesn't look good at all. Kind of looks like the Dark Knight series now that I think about it. They take that. For me, it kind of has the feel of the Dark Knight series. I don't know why. Really? Yeah. I could see where he's coming from. But they take that approach to if it's going to, where, if it's going to be a dark hero or an anti-hero, make everything super dark and make it all kind of hard to see. 
Well, it's not even that. I just like I just hate his appearance. I think like if you do Venom, you shouldn't just have him be seven feet fucking tall if your actor is five ten. Have you seen any of the recent stuff that's come out with Venom? He's generally seven feet tall in the lot. But like gen, gen, I that's why I don't I like original Venom's design because he wasn't he was like maybe Regular six height. inches taller than Spider Man, but he was still like bulky, bulky. Just where this is just bulk. like just excessive amount of bulk and height. Bulk, yeah. Like I don't get like, and I don't like the veins on him. I Even guess. his tongue has muscles. Like, his veins look fucking weird, and I don't... Like, I didn't want to be the bearer of bad news, like, but, like, everyone... Last time we had, like, everyone on, was like, Venom's awesome, and, like, it looks, like, bad. People still probably go flooding in to see it open. Oh, yeah, it definitely will. I feel Absolutely. like... I feel like it will be, but, like, I don't know, like, I feel like they should have left it more in... Like, I totally would have... Ambiguous and darker. And less design. Like, do not show the fucking Venom symbiote a lot. Like, show bits and pieces. And at the very end, when he has to, like, step up, that's when he's, like, finally... Like, I would like it that if he's, like, battling... Because they're making Eddie Brock look like he's supposed to be a good guy from the get-go. Mm-hmm. So if, if it was him <clears throat> battling the morality of using the symbiote to stop people, which means he has to kill people... And, like, so it would only be bits and pieces. Like, his hand would get the symbiote and he could shoot it out and shit like that. That would have been interesting. Mm -hmm. But this is more like, I'm just going to take this now and I'm going to have this fucking weird symbiote parrot on my shoulder telling me, Kill them all, Eddie. Fucking murder them. Like a turd in the wind. And that shit, too. (laughs) That shit just fucking stupid. I just... mm. Mm. I still think this movie could have benefited. All things aside, I think this movie could have strongly benefited from an R rating. I do think so too, but I, I knew it wasn't gonna get an R rating. Like I PG-13 knew from the get go, like, are the worst thing. as much as like everyone's like it's gonna be good. Like I knew from the get go that it was gonna get an R rating. So let's say those fans hoping for Kate Beckinsale to reprise her role for Celine in the Underworld movies are in for a letdown, as she says she's done with the franchise. Which is understandable. It's the one where there's werewolves and vampires, and the were one of the werewolves is it's blue. It's Resident Evil vampires. Oh, it's made by the same guy. Yeah, all right. Well, it's not. <laughs> it isn't. Mm-hmm. It really looks like it, it is. Feel, they're both those directors are both. I think we're both married to the people that they did the movies with. Mm. That's fucking weird. Like, not in a bad way. It's just bizarre to me. They basically made the movies to tote around how great their spouses were. They were they were married before the first movies were produced. Though. Really, that, that is makes very it weirder. True. Yeah, and then they continuously like, like that's my one thing about the Resident Evil movies. He then continuously shows his wife naked, like every fucking movie. He's like, "This is my wife. This is my you wife. You can look, look, but you can't touch." And like. For me, it's just like, that was like, before we put Fictional Fight Club on hiatus, that was like one of the two debates I wanted to do was who would win, Alice from Resident Evil or Celine from the Underworld series, because by the end of Underworld Awakening, I think, she gets some fucking dumbass vampire werewolf power shit, and Alice gets some dumbass zombie telepathy bullshit. People would argue for either side, and that's just not something I want to be near. Oh god, dude! I try. I did that on Facebook, and people were like, "No, Alice would win. No, Celine would win," and they were both like bringing up their arsenals and shit. And like one guy even brought up like Alice's feats compared to Celine's feats. I'm like, I like this. Yes, keep arguing, nerds. Do my work for me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, like someone even was like, well, in Resident Evil 3, and I'm like, hey, you got a point there, yeah, she's got a point. <laughs> so this is really interesting, because they were going to reboot Halloween, Edgar Wright was prevented to use Mike, legit Michael Meyer masks in Baby Driver, that's why they got the Austin Power masks instead and made the Michael Meyer joke. Really? <laughs> yeah, because of that, because it's a, it was a, a trademark issue. I like mean, if they were not going to reboot Halloween, they could have gotten away with it. I mean, they could have just bought William Shatner masks and just messed them up a little. That was the best joke in Baby Driver. One of my favorite jokes in Baby Driver. That was like, what the fuck is this? It's Michael Myers, right? 
<laughs> yeah. And it's fucking awesome Fish, power. Yeah. 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 I love this. Dude, I love Baby Driver so much. I think mm. it's by far, like, that came out in 2017. That was my favorite movie of 2017. I gotta see that. I do like Edgar Wright stuff. So that yeah, so like... I watched that. Because that was when we were still hard on the movie reviews. Because it was me, John, Max, and Ryan. I do know how it goes, but I do still want to see it because somebody I, I actually watched a, vid, a pretty decent sized video on the whole uh, everybody's color scheme and how that plays out in the movie. Oh yeah, and their music, and you like watch how the music also influences just influences things. the entire thing. Yeah. Uh, Warner Brothers Godzilla King of Monsters starring uh, Millie Bobby Brown has received a PG thirteen rating. Yay! And it's still gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually mind it. I guess. Like I th- I. Yeah. I like fucking giant monsters fighting, so I just don't give it, like, oh, who gives a shit about the fucking plot? So in America, in America. Like, I get in Japan, people gave a shit about the plot in Godzilla, but in America, when Godzilla movies came on, on the sci-fi channel, were you really like, oh, this is a deep, intriguing story? No, you were like, when the fuck is Godzilla gonna fuck something up? I never got to see those when I was a boy. Oh, well, you know, you missed out. <laughs> yes. Godzilla fought pollution. I know. About a tar monster that could fly for some reason. Yeah. Well, he had two forms. He had like a jellyfish tar form that let him levitate. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's fucking science. And then they had science. Their, yeah. And then, science. They had their, then they had their own fucking Ultraman because they couldn't get the rights to Ultraman. You darn right. Jet Jaguar. And then there's that time Godzilla just pointed his atomic breath down and flew. Yeah. Backwards. Yeah. That was the one where he got pollution monster. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. I know all of these. Someone, um, this guy, artist named Matt Frank, speaking of, like, he draws, like, he drew, like, his own fake Godzilla universe called Godzilla X, and then Boom Comics called him to write and sketch, write and draw, a, like, a Godzilla comic series for them. Nice. They're really fucking cool. He just did one when the new Power Rangers came out, when he saw the appearance of Goldar, and he's like, this is what I would want Goldar to look. And he had, like, Goldar with, like, an apial face. And, like, there was still, like, the legit gold dripping off of him. It looked really fucking cool. Like, you should check him out sometime. Like, just search Match Frank and, like, so you don't have to go straight to DeviantArt. The DeviantArt article will just show up. It, he's got some really awesome artwork. I highly recommend him. Um, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom star Bryce Howard believes that Jurassic World 3 should have more original Jurassic Park characters. It should just end the series. I'm with him. Cut your losses. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I feel like they should have just ended it after the first world and just let it be. And they could not do that. Mm Mm-hmm. Instead, it's still going. Yep. So, Game of Thrones star Kit (laughs) Harrington admits that he tried out to play Harry Potter in the film set in the popular Wizarding World. Don't know who Kit Harrington is. John, uh, John Snow. The he knows nothing guy. We have another news report later about him. The Conjuring franchise producer Peter Saffron says he expects The Conjuring 3 will begin filming sometime next year for a 2020 release. I'm really excited. I know you don't personally like The Conjuring movies, right? You're the one? Yeah. I'll I'll give it a shot as a story-based movie. As a horror... Generally, any movie nowadays as a horror fails. I, I, I have hopes for the new Halloween. That one might be, but that one's because it sticks to the standards of the 80s. It is basically just a slasher. So the Blumhouse, he wants... Uh, he Jason Blum wants to remake some classic, more classic movies like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer. How many more power to him? Cool. I don't know. I, I don't think <clears throat> Scream was that scary. I don't think... Like... The more I watch Scream, and the more I'm like, it's not as good as everyone thinks it is. Didn't Wes Craven say it wasn't that good, too? I don't know. Then Scream 4 just kind of fucking ruined it for me. The newest one? Yeah. Yeah. Where they're like, well, in the reboot, the original doesn't survive. I'm like, shut the fuck up, just die. Everyone. (laughs) Yeah. So... Jordan Peele is talks to produce a remake of Bernard Ross's horror cult classic, uh, The Candyman. Ooh. I fucking loved The Candyman. It was such a bizarre psychological thriller. And we got Jordan Peele at the helms. 
producing. Still at, well, he's at one of the helms. So, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham's Fast and Furious spinoff is actually filming, and The Rock shared the first look at Hobbs and Shaw. It's such a fucking weird world I live in that the Fast and the Furious now has an extended universe. Did you hear about DreamWorks making it like a kid show for the Fast and the Furious for Netflix? I did not, but I can believe it. Yeah. Like, animated? Yeah. Yeah. I can believe that. They have a science segment. Okay, kids, to make this jump, your car is actually going to be needing to go at this velocity. It actually finally combines the Turbo universe with the, like, super-powered snails and the Fast and the Furious oh, universe. And makes a canon that they're in the same universe. Oh, How would... fucking awesomely dumb would that be? Too dumb. Oh, uh, dude, I actually like... You didn't like Turbo? Did you watch it? I did not see it, no. Turbo the movie's good. Turbo the series is garbage. Like, all of those, like, original DreamWorks animated movies or shows are garbage. Besides maybe Mr. Peabody and Sherman's, just because, like, that was supposed to be educational. And they went back through time and shit. So... We have some quick Star Wars news. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did we already go past the DC block? Nope. The DC block's at the end. Oh. Lucky Wait. you, Gil. Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars actor Ian McDermott reveals the original version of Order 66 was too brutal and needed to be toned down. So I'm pretty sure they were, like, going to show Anakin kill children. Or maybe they were just going to show him killing everyone. George Lucas was like... That Fox came back like, yo, man, you can't have people kill children. Like, but they're aliens. They don't count as children. Yo, man, you can't have people kill children. Let the bloodbath of child innocence begin. No, George. George, George, you can't. Tone um, you it can also down. cannot have take on me playing in the background as he's murdering children. <laughs> oh, <Aww>. God. <laughs> why, why not? We don't have the legal rights. <laughs> I fucking love <laughs> Order 16. I'm like, it is uh, so dumb, but it's just so enjoyable. Uh, so, spoiler alert. So, we have a bunch of Henry Cavill news. That no one cares about. This is fucking weird because, like, you don't really know what's going on at DC. Because apparently DC's like, there's going to be a shakeup. And then, like, everyone else is like, what? And then they're like... We're not going to focus on Superman anymore. We're going to focus on Supergirl. And so, like, that, people are like, Henry Cavill's leaving. And everyone's like, maybe he's not leaving. And then DC's like, we might want Michael B. Jordan. And everyone's like, no. Can they get Michael B. Jordan? I thought that Marvel characters couldn't cross He's dead. Him. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're not going yes, to back. They, yes, they can. The fucking... Actors. Larry... Uh, Lawrence Fishburne was in the... Uh, Man of Steel, and then he was in, uh... Fuck, what is the name of that movie? Ant-Man and Wasp. I didn't go see Ant-Man and Wasp. It's a good so. movie, you should watch it. No, you just yeah. love Ant-Man. I agree, really, yeah. Man. It's actually yeah, love it, it's one of my favorite guys. <laughs> the actors can do individual work, unless uh, they sign a contract to specifically stay on with Depending, that. like, yeah, if you sign a multi-deal thing, you probably can't. Okay. But That's like, just because of scheduling issues. What it was, like, what, what, the, what, the, what the rumor was is that, like, you know, obviously Henry Cavill wasn't happy, and now Ben Affleck's apparently leaving, and they want Kit Harrington, John Snow to be Batman, which is fine. Like, and it's like everyone, what? Like a younger Batman, or yeah. still said in the present younger, Batman? No, younger Batman. Oh, okay. Make him Dick Grayson, kill well, off Batman. So, <laughs> so the idea is, is that like, if that's if if Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck and leave it is leaving. Flashpoint is a very reasonable thing to just be, like, a soft reboot of your entire movie series. Like, because that's what the new 52 and comics books were. Because they kept Batman, Batman, and Green Lantern, Green Lantern, and everyone else around them changed. Because, like, Batman and Green Lantern were the two things that were selling really, really well. So, if Aquaman does good, they keep Jason Momoa. Which is fine. Bromoa. Yeah. Then... If Shazam does good, they can keep him too. I don't fucking mind. Shazam could replace Man of Steel because Shazam would be a better fucking Superman character than the Superman character they have now. Yeah, he's got a point. He's like, he's the lighthearted, optimistic one. And like, people are like, we can't have a black fucking Superman. I'm like, he's Kryptonian. (laughs) 
Who gives a shit? <laughs> no one has ever canonically said, like, someone's like, well, Kryptonians aren't black. And, like, you watch TV, like, I was watching Krypton. There are black Kryptonians. In the comic books and TV shows, there are, like, random black Kryptonians flying around. I'm like, who gives a shit? Kryptonians can naturally fly? If they have a yellow sun, yeah. I was going to say, I thought that was because of the yellow sun. Yeah, so it was like... I the, thought their planet didn't have a yellow sun. And no, that's but like in, when, when they were boxed in Superman's cam door, he gave them a yellow sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know this weird shit, comic books. <laughs> but like, I don't feel the fucking need to... Like, I can understand why Ben Affleck left, because like, everyone just shat on him. Yeet. And like... He also has to... And Ben Affleck is also in fucking rehab right now. People hated him so much as Batman, he drank himself... I'm kidding, though. He just is in rehab because he was a terrible person. But... Didn't... I thought people really liked him in Batman v Superman. Like, weren't a lot of people saying he was, like, the only good thing about that movie? I don't... I don't know. I don't think there was anything good about Batman v Superman, personally. no 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 yeah. That definitely just is like, but, see, but that was only played very briefly in that fucking but movie. Twice, because it wasn't her movie. Yeah, exactly. But twice, exactly. But no, my thing about Batman vs Superman, and this is like a hearkening <laughs> back to the callbacks of like our original podcast that came out in 2016, is that like every fucking podcast, Jay, me, Ryan, and Max are on, no matter what it fucking was, one of us would bring up Batman vs Superman. Because, like, the first podcast we ever talked about is when Daredevil Season 2 came out. I'm like, Daredevil is such a good Batman story, it blows my mind. How come Batman and Superman couldn't have been as good as Daredevil? And then we went on this 30-minute tangent about, like, my hatred for Batman versus Superman. <laughs> because then also our roommate just bought the extended cut. He's like, well, the extended cut made it look better. And I'm like, I'm going to have to sit there three fucking hours. And tell him how wrong he is. Because I can't just say you're wrong and not see the fucking movie. You want to substantiate it with proof. Yeah, and I did. And I just like, he's like, well, I just enjoyed it for what it is. I'm like, what, a piece of shit? No. Here's the thing. They ruined what what the Batman, what the DC Extended Universe did, though, is they ruined three important storylines already. It's the creation of the Justice League. The coming of Darkseid, um, the death of Superman, and the Dark Knight Returns. It's four. Four. I mean, like, creation of the Justice League is kind of like... Originally, it was... They were together because Starro came, so, like, I can understand why, like, they didn't want their first villain to be a fucking giant starfish. From space. <laughs> space that controls you, which is... With other smaller starfish from space. Yeah. Uh, but... I just been Patrick then I have to fucking go back into they have to go back into the thought that like I watched Justice League action because they have the first season on Hulu and it's 26 episodes and they're the 15 minute episode intervals but they do do all fuck you holy titties they do <laughs> Justice League like good and put different characters together that makes sense it's just like how come our like TV and cartoon movies can do this so well. Like, how come they're not like, at least for the fucking writing, how come they're not getting like the animated series and people like that to write these things? Because like, I feel like, like before Dwayne, like if Dwayne McDuffie, R.I.P. Dude, he wrote uh, the script for All Star Superman, the Superman co- uh, movie where Superman's dying of cancer and sacrifices himself at the end. It was really well written. He also wrote a ton of Justice League and Justice League Unlimited that were fucking solid. Like, these TV writers know what they're fucking doing most of the time. Like, they got the writers for Teen Titans Go to make a Teen Titans movie, and, like, as much as I do not like Teen Titans Go, I had to fucking watch, like, eight hours of it when Karina and Brittany were here because, like, Karina really likes it, and I still do not like it as much. (laughs) But, like, when you when you love a child, you're just like, all right, we can watch this. It'll be fine. <laughs> and you're gnawing your teeth. 
Look, isn't it funny? I'm like, yeah. So like collapsing into your own psyche, just allowing yourself to come become one with your own insanity. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what it was. No, but like they wrote that movie and it turned out really fucking good. Like DC has very good writers. Like fuck, dude, Scott Snyder from Batman. Like you guys, I'm not spewing out like comic book. Like if you get comic book writers to write a script. It's just like writing a comic book panel because they have to write what the panel is doing and dialogue for that panel. That's basically the comic book writer's job. That is equivalent to what you do with script writing and scenes. Like, I really think that, like, why why aren't they giving them this? Why aren't they, like... Because I feel like everyone is being hit or miss. Like, DC just doesn't know what the fuck they want. Trying to catch up to Marvel. Out of their movies. And, like, they don't have to. Like, I, I like the way DC was like, we're going to be different from Marvel. But, like, they did it in such a dumb fucking way. It's because they were trying to tri- play yeah. catch up. And that's my the thing, issue. My, okay, my thing, if you wanted to do that, make, instead of being different from Marvel, make team up movies instead. Don't make, like, big, like, league movies. Make, like, Brave and the Bold style things where it's just, like, Batman, Batman and Wonder teams Woman, up with Wonder Woman. Superman and Aquaman. Yeah, super, like, Superman teams up with, like, one of my favorites. I do not like Superman personally that much. But one of my favorite DC animated shorts is Superman and Shazam fighting Black Adam. It is one of the most well-written and well-animated shorts I've seen in a while. Fuck, even Suicide Squad Hell to Pay and Suicide Squad Assault on Arkham blow the Suicide live-action movie to smithereens. Part of it is just the freedom of animation. It's... I don't even think it's that. I think it's the... I don't think it's the freedom of animation because, like, Assault on Arkham, really, you would not... It would be less of a budget than fucking the Suicide Squad movie had because they're only stuck in this one area. Like, that is... <clears throat> same with War. They don't go yeah, across the fucking world. Yeah, but they don't have world. to do a whole bunch for, for special effects. But for... But, and like, the but that's the thing. It's such a... Those stories are so contained if you watch them. Because in Justice League, the movie, they go fucking bum fuck everywhere to find these people. Whereas in Justice League War, they're all in their immediate cities and they can travel. They, they travel there in each city. And you do not have to spend that much money doing that kind of stuff. Like, Central City is where both Flash and Cyborg were. And, like, that could be where Cyborg turns. Like, they showed that they could make a reasonable Justice League movie and give, like, Cyborg his origin story, and it would not be weird. And that is under an hour and 30 minutes. Like, Justice League War is not a perfect movie, but it's an understandable, like, jump to what they wanted. That's what I'm saying, like... Another part of that is also the time. They generally plan this out to go with the time. In a movie, sometimes you just have to stretch it out, too. Right. Because you can't... And you do sometimes have to condense it, too. Same with the other one. But with animation, it's a they do the story so far in advance, and they plot everything down to the wire before they which is fine. Just it's, bring it's, it together. In the end, it's about the writing, though. It's it's the writing and the and the way the script and the fans out. Like you could turn Justice League War into a live action movie, and it would not cost as much animation as what they did. Like. They spent so much on that Amazonian battle and the Aqua and the fucking Atlantean battle and just them in Russia. Like, they could have cut that down into them being, like, in Metropolis, stopping fucking... Just hearing about it, coming yeah, together, coming stopping together. Steppenwolf. Or, like, they all are attacked by a parademon. And, like, Batman's like, you were attacked too. All right, let's team up, bitch. Like, you know what I mean, though? Like, that, I'm not trying to, like, dog on anyone who's like, DC is better than Marvel, fuck you, or Marvel's better than DC. No, I'm just saying that, like... The story elements are very often... Yeah, their story really elements better. are piss poor. Like, that's what I'm trying to say is, like, it has nothing to do with, like, like, the anim- for me, it's not animation versus live action. It just literally has to do with, like, the piss poor storytelling that you hired a director who is all visual and not story-driven. Because if you've ever watched all of Zack Snyder's movies... They're not very story driven besides Watchmen. Sucker Even punch. that one wasn't very good. Yeah, I was gonna say that one. You watch. You have to watch. Like that's the one where I have to say you have to watch the fucking four hour cut to make any sense of that fucking movie. But that's the thing. It blows my fucking mind. 
Uh, with that in mind, though, let's go into just a few more just uh, ideas. Like for the Supergirl movie, they want Brainiac to be the main villain, which is understandable because Brainiac was the one who destroyed destroyed Krypton. Krypton. And then, uh, like I said, Kit Harrington wants to possibly might be Batman, which is fine. And Michael B. Jordan might be Superman, which is, again, fine, because who gives a fuck? A lot of people, particularly comic book nerds, since canonically, as far as I know, Superman has not been black. Here's the way. They can I'm not ca- throwing my No, 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 they can cape the Superman. Earth 2 has a Superman that's black that isn't Clark Kent. He could be another Kryptonian. That's my thing. Like, and even Steel. Steel took over the moniker of Superman. He has the giant S and shit. Like, that's my thing about this. Is like, you can have Superman that is not Clark Kent. They have a fucking Chinese Superman now. Who's not Clark Kent. That's awesome. And they have a Chinese Batman who I think is like a, Deva, a diva-esque person. Because I think she actually runs a Batman-like mech from Korea. If I remember correctly. They have an Asian Justice League, and it was just written by Jim Lee, an Asian American. And I'm like, I'm really tempted to read it or just own a copy of it just to be like, hey! Get Asian street cred? Yeah. <laughs> so, so the Batman script is apparently finished, so that's good. So, did you ever watch The Golden Compass? No. So they're making a miniseries about The Golden Compass. I've though. heard. Um, you know what's interesting about this is that um, it's supposed to have James McAvoy in it, so... Yeah, Professor X. Oh, no. the young one. Young one. Pre bald and crippled. He's bald now. Yeah. I don't know. crippled. I have faith in this. To be honest with you, I don't know. I think books work out better as miniseries, anyways. Personally, I don't think books really work well as like movies. Like, I still think Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit should have been miniseries. Especially The Hobbit, because each chapter was technically an episodic. You were supposed to read one chapter at bedtime, and they were like life lessons for children. And they tried to make it into this grand epic in a movie, which kind of like was a hit or miss. But with this in mind, though, like the one thing people always say about The Golden Compass is that it's very anti-Catholicism. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's different, yeah. I, I mean, if you take it that way, I'm weird. I've not read it or seen the movie. I just know what people say. Yeah, it's different. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm not a big fan of turning, adapting things. Because I had this conversation with someone about um I had this conversation with someone about someone about uh The Witcher and I was just like to be honest with you I really don't like when people adapt books that I like because then when you adapt them into live action you just take away what I picture that character looking like mm-hmm. that that's just my opinion on stuff but I could be wrong there's always that disconnect yeah like like, I did not personally like the Hunger Games book series, but I totally did not picture Katniss Everdeen looking like that. You would have like, pictured her thinner and less healthy? Yeah, I pictured her very malnutrated. Like everybody else? Yeah. Like everyone else besides Jennifer Lawrence and PETA and Liam Hemsworth. How was PETA so in good shape? In the books he was fat. Yeah, that's another. And thing. how was he even fat? I mean, I guess that his <laughs> father was a baker, but still. Well, okay, he wasn't fat. He was pudgy. Huskier. Husky, yeah. No, no. I don't know. Yeah, I picture Peter to be like stocky and just like gross, I guess. And then he'd get on the unhealthy side because he does get sick. I picture more like a Trelby wearing guy. <laughs> Um, Apparently, we... decorating cakes can help you blend in the woods. Yeah, fuck that. He's like, he's like, Peter, how'd you get so good at camouflage? My parents made me decorate cakes. I'm like, who's fucking buying cakes in an impoverished town? <laughs> the and rich. Fucking t- who fucking is rich there? The people who beat them. According to a rude new rumor, DC Comics wants uh, Swamp Thing to be a hard R TV series, which I'm cool with because that's like the series that should be because it's fucking horror to the max. And they want Derek Mears, the original, one of the many 
faces of Jason Voorhees to play Swamp Thing in an actual suit. Ah, that's cool. I want that. Oh, mm. I want that. Because Derek Mears was the one in the Jason, uh, the Friday the 13th reboot that did all the cool shit. Because, like, he wasn't an undead wraith. He was just some crazy man in the woods doing push-ups and shit. And for just, whatever reason? Yeah, for whatever reason. And just murdering people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, did you remember the movie Snowpiercer? Chris Evans, they're on a train, and they have to get to, like, the front. I've heard of it, yeah. But they're making and... a miniseries, and I'm actually really stoked, because it would actually... Because the comic... There's a, it's originally a graphic novel. And so what's super awesome about this is that, like, it would help explore, like, what is the Snowpiercer, instead of it going through all these rooms without giving it much of an explanation. So it could be a good thing or a bad thing, because they could over-explain things or not explain things enough. So I'm really excited for this. And people, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Um, AMC Network CEO says that the network's plans for the Walking Dead universe to live on for at least another decade. Oh, wow. Why? It's already starting to die. And the fact that you're taking Rick Grimes out of the equation doesn't help things. Merchant if they just show. keep creating, like, I feel like if they made spinoffs of, like, different areas, like... Well, like, then, yeah, they could Kyoto, have Japan would be interesting. Because, like, Japan would be just... Japan in general. Be interesting the high because population. high population and, and you're density. fucking... You're stuck there. You can't escape. Like, even if you make it to the ed- end of Japan, like... You can't leave. You're, an, you're in an island. Like, that shit would be interesting. Or like I mean, even go, even Hawaii, near. where like it would just be them on a boat. Like that sounds weird, but like I'm on a boat. Having like an ocean madness kind of style thing, where like they the enemy is themselves and not the zombies. The zombies are just supplementary. Yeah, but the paranoia is that if you die, you turn into a zombie. Like that shit could get to you because like you don't want to be malnutrited, so like they might convert to cannibal. Like that sounds weird, but like. My mind thinks weird ways because they used to write a bunch of horror stories in high school. Who's the real zombie then? Who's the real monster, man or nature? No, so yeah, ten fucking years. I don't know about this. If they continue the way they're going, probably not. The cast and creators of the CW's upcoming Charm TV show reboot discusses the show's exploration of Latinx witchcraft and women's issues. What? So they're bringing brujas in. Gil. I don't even know what this series is. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing, Gil? Is he saying no? You saying no to, to the brujas? Are you against the brujas? I'm against a lot of things. Are you against the... I just want this to die. I just want to die. Dude, your sister's gonna fucking love this show even more than she liked the last show. I don't... I... She's gonna be like, I relate to this even more. You guys can talk about it on your way back from Lamar's. <laughs> Do you have Gil, a rope around here? Gil, did you just watch the new did you watch the new uh charm? It's just like our life, but without magic. <laughs> Gil, what are you doing? Take this hoodie away from him. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, no, I just Gil, it's not that bad. Are you are you against the Latin Latinx? Latina what is Latinx? Do you know that? Like, I'm not trying to be racist. I don't know what they mean by that. Gil, the, turn I mean, it around. I can't see the word. It's that, and that was literally what they said. Like Latinx. Latinx. Yeah. I have no idea. Okay, but you don't. I'm not saying like magic is not a big thing. You look like, like you're wearing a scarf. It's over. They're they're mad. They're, what they're trying to do is an over exaggeration of like. Latin witchcraft, isn't it? Probably. Okay. That's all I'm trying to do. Latinx. Yeah. So, so. That, I'm considering that's also like old school Latin. Yeah. Pagan shit. So, massively popular adult swim show Rick and Morty just won its first Emmy Award for Outstanding Animated Program. Go Rick and Morty. Go Rick and Morty, I guess. Still haven't seen it. It's Ricardo not and Mortimer. It's not that good of a show. I mean, I'm sorry, guys, to people who think it is. It's okay. It, uh, it became. Were you a fan of it at one point, though? I really enjoyed, like, the first season. Oh, okay. And then it just got continuously, um, 
Not bad, but to me... Oversaturated. We got repetitive. You only do so much, and you can only have a character that is just such a terrible human. Like, not changing, that you're just like, why am I watching this show? Like, for real. You ever have that time where, like... It it even happens in movies where, like, the character... Like, Shameless. I do not understand why people like Shameless so much. Because the characters are fucking up all the time, and they're not making themselves better. I don't want to watch a show like that. That's depressing as fuck to me. I don't know about you guys, but... Kian says, watch Shameless. Just kidding. <laughs> but don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. No questions? No. Uh, we got through the DC block already? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. We've been off the DC block for a while. Okay, then. Goodbye. And support our Patreon. <laughs>